Hey guys, Nick here from TechWare Duo. In this video, we're going to go ahead and install Ubuntu 19 on our VMware ESXi. So this is a pretty simple process, but I'm just going to go through getting the ISO, uploading it to your uh, data store, and then just creating the VM. It's pretty simple, but I'm just going to show you the options and parameters that I use. So uh, I'm in my ESXi host here. On the left, we have our virtual machines and we have our data store. So under data store, I'm gonna go ahead and click on data store browser. So make sure you guys do have your data store available. So I have two here. If you don't have one, make sure you have something in your server or a NAS that supports NFS or another sort of protocol. So you can hit new database and you can of course create a data store. But I'm gonna use my NVMe SSD data store click on data store browser. And then under here, I have ISO. So you can create that folder by hitting the create button. And as you can see, I have three ISOs right here. From here, you can just click the upload button. On my desktop, I already have Ubuntu 19.10 downloaded. And you can just hit the open button and it will start to upload on its own. So I'm going to just hit close on this since I already have one up there. If you need to download Ubuntu 19, you can just head to ubuntu.com forward slash download forward slash desktop. And we got 18.04 and 19 right here to, click, to download. So we're going to click on virtual machines. I have Bowser and Luigi. Both of these are Ubuntu images. One is server, one is desktop. And as you can tell, I'm just going to keep it in the Mario universe. So I'm going to click Create, New VM. We're going to name this one Peach. I'm going to click on Linux and scroll down to Ubuntu Linux 64-bit. Click Next. I'm going to click on the NVMe SSD. I have a little more storage there, so I'm going to click Next. For this, I'm going to go ahead and click on for the CPU, I'm going to click on four threads. For memory, I'm going to use four gigabytes. And for the hard disk, I'm just going to use 25. I'm going to scroll, I'm actually going to hit this arrow key down. And as you can see here, disk provisioning, there's thin provisioned and thick provisioned. So essentially thin provisioned only uses what the OS and programs need. So what is currently being used. Thick provisioned will take the entire 25 gigabytes and basically deem it for itself and kind of hold that to, to what it needs. So I'm just gonna leave it as thick provisioned. It is it's a small amount, so it's nothing I need to really worry about. I'm just gonna keep it as 25 and thick provisioned. So I'm gonna head down to CD DVD, click on host device and then click on data store in the drop down. Click on NVMe SSD, ISO, and Ubuntu 19.10. We're gonna scroll down, oh, and that's pretty much it. We're gonna click next, finish. It's gonna create the VM. We're gonna click on it. So it's got all the options here, telling you all the data and information for it but we're just gonna hit on, hit power on. So it's gonna start. You can go ahead and click on this to open the console. And there we go. So Ubuntu's starting up. You can go through and do the full installation. It's gonna recognize the disk. It's gonna say, hey, do you want me to use this entire 25 gigabyte disk? You say yes. It's gonna wipe it and use that 25 gigabyte disk. And then you're all set. So then you go ahead and start uh, with Ubuntu and you're good to go from there. So hopefully this video was informative for you guys. If you guys liked it, please give me that thumbs up. If you guys have any comments, please leave them below. And I hope you guys have a great day.